Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Whiskey Jug Whiskey Stuff Reviews. So, I'm going to be using this YouTube channel specifically to focus on whiskey stuff, glassware, decanters, um, gimmicks, like the those whiskey aging sticks and different things, because the website is going to continue to be focused on actual whiskey reviews. So I'm not going to be reviewing whiskey on it, but whiskey will be involved. Today we're going to be looking at uh, trying out these two different uh, Godinger, Godinger, I'm going to call them Godinger, um, glasses that are focused around cigars, which is a fairly natural pairing, cigars and whiskey. Uh, I've got my Cohiba Blue here. I'm not much of a cigar smoker, but when I do, this is kind of where I tend to gravitate. And the whiskey that we'll be using in this, again, not a review, but the review will be linked below, is going to be the Wild Turkey 1, which I do think is pretty fantastic. So, the reason I'm going, I'm coming to these ones are because, A, I think it's, they're decent gifts. The idea, at least conceptually, are really good gifts for whiskey drinkers. And there's always that question, what do I get a whiskey drinker for a gift? I think things like this are a good idea. Um, but we're going to road test these two today. And um, yeah, when, when I'm not drinking for reviewing, when I'm not doing tasting notes, when I'm doing that, you know, for that sort of behavior, I always use a Glencairn. I always use the same glass. But typically, if I'm just like having a drink at the end of the day, or while you know making a meal or something, or or like or whatever, I usually do gravitate towards tumblers. That's that that's kind of where I like to go because there's this association of Glencairn equals work for me at this point after so many years of running the website. So, um, anyways, these two. At, like all the glassware and all the the gimmicks and everything that we're going to be reviewing through this series these are funded by the patreon and i will be giving them away on the patreon so after using they'll get a very very thorough cleaning a, 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 run, a rinse down with some you know after being thoroughly washed they'll get a, a rub down with isopropyl alcohol watching it very thorough cleaning and then they will be shipped out to some random winners on the Patreon. So that is kind of the, the the reboot of the Patreon, and which I admit I've done an absolute terrible job of uh, managing and going to be reworking that and making it easier for myself. Too. I've made it too complicated, and that, that's really a thing I, I've figured out. But anyways, to these. So starting off, start with the packaging. The packaging is fantastic. It's got a nice matte feel to it. It feels premium. The The cardboard's thick, it's heavy. The photos on here are very good. They are very well, um, like high quality, they're not pixelized. I mean, it looks like quality, it feels like quality. Same here, it's, um, yeah, like it just feels like you're getting a good product. So then that, that's always, you know, a part of the battle. But what's on the outside doesn't always equate to what's on the inside. You put some really good packaging on a really crappy product and you still have a crappy product. So that's why we're actually going to be trying this. So let's, let's start with this one because this is the most interesting looking one. It's one where cigar kind of fits inside. And I've seen these and I've always wondered about them because they've, they've seemed problematic when, when I think about them. I've never used one, never looked at one. so. Uh, here's the unboxing, as it were. I'll just set this to the side. So here's the glass. Yeah, I already want to just put my finger there, and that that actually feels kind of <laughs> secure. My 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 bowling pin shaped fingers from jamming them so many times playing basketball in my youth. They're not going anywhere, so it's. At least from this this outset, I, I like this, but I'm, I'm seeing a, the, the the conceptual problem that I saw with this is already coming to light. So, but uh, before we, we we get in there, let's just take a look at what it says here on the box. Um, Gottinger cigar whiskey tumbler, handmade of fine, durable, crystalline glass, double old-fashioned whiskey glass, and cigar rest in one. 
comfortably grasp your drink, and fine cigar at the same time. Capacity, 12 ounces. Cool. And, uh, as you can see, works just fine. Now the thing that, immediately, when you look at this and you go, that seems like a, a terrible, terrible design. Because as you're drinking, that's coming towards your face. Now, I'm assuming that the, the, that the whole point of this is to take it out and then you drink. But then you're still you're holding your cigar, so if you don't want to hold it, but you want to drink, you're gonna put it in like an ashtray or something. And so then why put it here to begin with? Why not just have an ashtray? This seems like an interesting idea, but kind of a superfluous, kind of stupid idea. Really. What's what's the point? So. The thing that I've always wondered about with these, it's already kind of coming together. Anyways, let's let's get to the next one. So, this one is different. It is a cigar and um, glass set. So it's a old-fashioned whiskey glass and stacking cigar ashtray, capacity 11 ounces, dishwasher safe, lead free, cigar not included. I would assume not, unless it's like a little nubby one. Um, Let's get it open. Let's un unbox it, as the kids say, as the youths. So right on top here, you got the ashtray, which is, you know, standard looking ashtray. Holds the cigar just fine. What do you know it does its job? And now, go ahead and Oop, set this over here. If you're the one that gets this, now you know why this is ripped. So, okay. So instantly, just holding these two, I'd say I like this as like a, I don't know, it just feels like a good, like with the thumb, using that as a thumb hole rather than a cigar hole, this is actually, I mean, it does make it a little, you got that lip there, so you have to kind of, monkey monkey pot to, to get it in but I don't yeah I don't really it feels nice though I like holding it like that but really if I'm holding it like this it's a pretty wide glass and I kind of like this more because when I hold tumblers I tend to throw my finger my pinky under there and give it that extra you know three fingers here one thumb around pinky at the bottom just gives that 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 extra stability so I like this just feels more secure, especially with the diamond cut along there, across the bottom. That diamond cut really gives a lot of grip. Heft-wise, this is definitely heavier with that really thick glass bottom. This also has a thick bottom, but it's bigger. So this this feels a lot heavier. And just from just from holding them, I can tell you I would gravitate towards this. And then just looking at the, the, the raw functionality of them, I, I, I like this combo better. Just instant, instantly just looking at it like, if I'm gonna, let's say I'm hanging out outside on my patio, porch, which is where we're gonna actually road test these, I needed to go to the restroom. Well, to keep any bugs or flies or anything out, I would, this combo right here is perfect. Nothing's getting in. Whiskey's, you know, nothing's getting in. Um, whiskey's obviously not getting out. Um, cigar goes right there. There you go. And there's no fussing about with what do I do with this when I'm trying to hold it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. From a usability, I'm already a bigger fan of these of, of, of this one the uh, cigar set. I also think it, it, it feels like that's a really good travel set or like like if you're going to a buddy's house and you're gonna take a cigar, you got the whole kit right there. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this on the outset, but let's give it an actual little road test. Let's uh, 
Get a little whiskey involved. Oh, it smells so good. There we go. Oh, that's so good. So for the whiskey, it's like just pure, amazing wild turkey. I think that, oh, caramel, vanilla, oak, cinnamon, nutmeg. Ooh, a little, little like kind of a marzipan-y type of sweetness. A little honey, a little dry, ooh, this is, but anyways, back to this. See, I'm already a little worried once we, uh, get the cigar lit. I also usually wear a brimmed hat. I, in honor of the wild turkey, I'm wearing my wild turkey beanie and it's 47 degrees outside here, up here on the mountain. But yeah, so far, see that's super comfortable. That is a nice comfortable grip, but and you can't get it getting over that lip or no I mean I, I think it's pretty clear what my verdict is right now I've been pretty obviously leaning very heavily towards this being really good and this being not very good but you know what in the sake of fairness we're gonna take this outside Got my Cohiba, got the wild turkey. See, I don't like that being close to that. Which brings me back to what's what's the point? If I have to use that, what's the point? However, I think we knew who the clear winner was going to be. And, uh, this is it. So in summary, I do not recommend this. But I do highly recommend this. This, the combo, this is a fantastic gift. Like, this is something that you, if, if you have a whiskey drinker and, and cigar smoker in your life, this is a fantastic little combo. It's a great travel set. It's something that you can easily take with you literally anywhere, friend's house, vacation, whatever. It's, uh, though I don't know why you take it on vacation, but you might, you might, that might be your thing. But um, yeah, as the, since the sun is now between two trees and I'm getting washed out. I'm just going to wrap this up. Maybe you did see something you liked in this one. Maybe maybe I'm being a little harsh on it and I because I think it's trash. I, I really hate this design. But links to this, Amazon links will be down in the, the uh, description of the video for both of these. And uh, both will be given away on my Patreon. And um, yeah, I really like this. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to finish this, work on this a little bit, and um, with that, thank you for watching, hope you have a great day, cheers!